There's currently a creature lurking under the Fortnite island in the depths of the ocean that could invade the world any minute now. With houses being obliterated, gigantic footsteps being traced, and a government in full panic mode, building a colossal giant robot to combat the ultimate evil monster, the world of Fortnite will be facing its ultimate threat. It's like a volcano waiting to erupt. Wait, actually, wait a second, that already happened. It's like a meteor waiting to hit. Wait, no? We, we did that too? A, a missile waiting to launch? That happened as well? Everyone is on the edge of their seats right now. As to when we'll see the appearance of the unknown monster, I don't know. But in order to fully realize what's going on right now with the entire world in jeopardy, we gotta take things back to the beginning of season nine. Part one, the monster. The monster of season nine first appeared in Fortnite when its mountainous eyeball was spotted peeking through the Polar Peak iceberg earlier in the season. Afterwards, the iceberg that was a part of Polar Peak was shattered with the creature being unleashed, leaving footprints around the map, hinting at its path toward the ocean, its temporary sanctum until it becomes ready to strike. Not much had been seen of the creature from that point onwards until keen-eyed players spotted something lurking around in the ocean. Upon further inspection, they noticed a part of the Polar Peak castle poking out from the sea, meaning the monster was carrying the entire castle on its head or back and literally swimming around with it. Now, we don't know what the creature's intentions are, and the last sighting of the monster was a footprint left at Loot Lake, which obliterated a building and damaged the power line cables going from the vault all the way to Neo Tilted Towers. Since then, the creature's whereabouts are uncertain, and the possibilities have given the Fortnite citizens quite the scare of their uncertain future. Part 2 history. Events in Fortnite have been getting bigger and bigger as each season has passed, starting all the way with the rocket launch back in Season 4 and coming to the most recent event with the unvaulting and the volcano eruption in Season 8, which left Tilted Towers and Retail Row in pieces. With each event wreaking havoc upon the Fortnite island, it seems that the inhabitants of the map have been completely defenseless against inevitable destruction every single season. They have utterly suffered defeat to the hands of countless disasters from meteors, volcanoes, earthquakes, and rockets, and and more, and it seems that they're finally going to wage war against their fate and prevent anything else from happening to their new society. By taking advantage of their advanced technology, we'll try and win this great battle the only way they know how. Working together as a community and fighting fire with fire. With the construction of Neo Tilted, Mega Mall, and using the power of Loot Lake's vault, it seems that the Fortnite government have finally reached a good stage in their evolution, and its technology has advanced swiftly. Season 9's theme is all about the future, and that might play a big role in what to come in the Great War. The government turned the volcano into a testing facility after it erupted in Season 8, and recently it changed again to resemble some sort of platform or elevator. Since then, leakers have found a mechanical foot in the files that belongs to a robot. But not only that, but it gets even more interesting because an upcoming fort bite references a robot factory location. All signs point to Pressure Plant being the robot factory. Now that the government has advanced their technology, it seems they can finally build a protector of the island, a mech, and a giant robot that can defeat any threats to the people of the Fortnite world. One of these threats is now including a city-sized monster that has been trapped in ice for years or even decades that has finally re-emerged. Speaking of re-emerging, part three, the robot. The robot is going to be constructed over time until the end of Season 9, starting with the feet, then the calves, thighs, torso, biceps, forearms, and then finishing off with the head. We have no leaks as of yet, or any hints as to what the robot will look like, so it'll be a cool mystery that will be solved when construction is eventually completed. To have it be controllable in a final event or limited time mode would be spectacular, especially fighting this gigantic monster in a 50v50 Thanos-style mode. The robot is named Dogus in the files, and while the names of items in Fortnite's files are usually Usually nonsense, it actually relates to the name of the polar creature, which is codenamed Cats. See, see where this is going? The robot's currently being built to fight the creature once it inevitably attacks the Fortnite Island, and it will be a large battle of the titans between Caddis and Dogus, with the victor determining the fate of the world itself. Of course, this is just a theory, although it's almost certainly going to happen based on leaks, and why else would the government be building a gigantic robot if it wasn't going to fight the creature? Also, why would it be called Dogus and the creature be called Caddis if there wasn't going to be an ultimate clash that would lead us into a hopefully revolutionary Season 10? Part 4, The War. 
The Fortnite Island is officially going to wage war against the creature and also Epic Games, with leaked propaganda posters actually hinting at what is going to happen once these two beasts fight. The posters are clearly inspired by actual World War II propaganda, with the likely outcome that all players will have to evacuate the island and get to a safe location to view the upcoming battle of the beasts. This theory is further given clarity through the poster that says, When danger strikes, take the high ground, with a picture of a sky platform. Another poster says, We can build it, which is likely motivation for the robot being built at Pressure Plant, aka the volcano. Could this mean that the community have to work together to put the pieces in place and build the robot, similar to how the community had to work together to move runes into Loot Lake during Season 8? If so, how would that work? I mean, really? A countdown for this impending doom has also been leaked. Maybe we'll see a countdown begin once the robot is officially built above its head, or when we start finding parts to help build it. It will probably be similar to the countdown that appeared both at Polar Peak during the snow event and the countdown that appeared above Loot Lake during the volcano eruption event. I'm personally really hoping that this battle will actually be viewable live and we'll actually see Caddis and Doggis fighting in real time. It's always a disappointment whenever Fortnite teases a huge event and then it happens during a trailer for the next season and we log into the game one day pretending that it actually happened did it. Another thing I'd love is for players to be able to teleport into the robot and actually control it. Maybe everyone could get their own robot and fight the creature in a boss battle. That would be universal. It's likely that the Storm King from Save the World was a test for real-time boss battles. The Storm King is a boss that you can fight in the Save the World game mode, and people who defeated him before January were eligible for a real-life pin. I hope the players can do the same when Caddis eventually reveals itself to the world. Part 5, The Future. We still do not know what the creature looks like or what it even is. It could be a cat for all we know, or a dragon or a lizard. Well, the large theory was that the monster was actually Godzilla, with lots of evidence pointing towards that, including the shape of its footprints and the timing of its escape compared to the release date of the new Godzilla movie. You can view our other video if you want to see every single theory as to what the creature is, although it's been a while since the new Godzilla movie released, and unfortunately, as each day goes by, it gets more and more unlikely that the creature actually is Godzilla. If you want a good idea of what the final battle is expected to be like, like at the end of Season 9, you should watch Pacific Rim. It's likely that Epic Games are fans of Pacific Rim as Season 9's plot is pretty similar to the films in which the society builds robots to fight invading creatures and protect their world. Yeah, it sounds pretty similar to what's going on now in Fortnite right now. The robot is expected to be built over time for quite a while. Season 10 isn't expected to begin until a month from now, so we have a ton of time for this robot to be constructed. It's likely that the battle will occur near the very end of Season 9. Remember that Epic Games need to make time and space for the current 14 days of summer event and also the Stranger Things this crossover event that is taking place very soon. Now, the real question is, who is actually going to emerge victorious at the end of this battle? It's all good debating about when the battle is and where it'll be. We still don't actually know at all where the fight will take place. Maybe, maybe the creature and robot are so big that they'll cover the entire map during their clash. Who knows? And part six, the end of season nine. So what will the consequences of either outcome be? The Caddis creature defeats the robot built by the Fortnite government and the fate of the island will be uncertain. Season 10 could have a theme similar to that of Apex Legends second season in which invading creatures have taken over the island. New location will be where the creature is staying or it could move around constantly, become an actual obstacle in players' paths. Although the more likely outcome is that the robot will defeat the monster on a spectacular victory for the island. This wouldn't answer many questions. However, as players still don't know exactly where the creature came from, the eggs that Caddis likely was born from were placed there mysteriously. So Epic Games, if you're watching this, we need an origin story. The theme for season 10 is so up in the air that it's ridiculous and we can feed you theories upon theories for days, but this is this one is almost guaranteed to happen. The only real questions are who will win the battle and if we'll be able to see it happen live. Anyways, check out our video here to find out what this monster is going to be. And if you click the link on the screen right now for the annotation, you can see the top 10 ugliest Fortnite skin concepts ever made. And also uh, keep it here on on top five gaming or else.